Are you craving a lush, vibrant salad? Maybe it's the beckoning warmer weather, the barbecue sizzling, or just your body's desire to eat healthily during your pregnancy. But you're wondering, are pre-made salads during pregnancy safe? Well, stay tuned and I'll tell you exactly what the latest research says. Hi, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Melanie McGrice and I'm a fertility and prenatal dietitian. I help people to have healthy babies and give them a head start by optimizing their nutrition during the first thousand days of life. Now today, we're discussing the question, are pre-made salads during pregnancy safe? I remember reading a comment by a lady in a closed Facebook group. It said something along the lines of, I was craving a burger today, so I ate it, but don't worry, I removed the salad. Now, there's a common belief that salad is unsafe during pregnancy, but it couldn't be further from the truth. Salads are healthy, you just need to know how to prepare them to minimize the risk. Let's look at what makes a great pregnancy salad. So first of all, you need your salad base. During pregnancy, when your digestion slows down, I always encourage women to make fiber their friend to help keep your gut healthy and your bowels moving. So a salad is gonna be a great high fiber option. Now, even though there's nothing wrong with the humble iceberg lettuce, choosing a dark green leafy lettuce, such as baby spinach or radicchio, has the added benefit of boosting your vitamin and mineral content as well as folate. Now folate is particularly crucial in the first trimester of pregnancy because it's going to help to reduce your risk of neural tube defects. So point here is choose a nice dark green lettuce. Now secondly, we wanna focus on salad variety. You might've heard of the term eat the rainbow. And this saying typically means that you want your salad plate or bowl to have lots of color from different ingredients as this indicates that you're going to be getting a range of different antioxidants to boost your defense system. The more variety that's in your food, the greater nutritional adequacy of your diet, which needless to say is particularly important when you're growing a baby. So throw in lots of different ingredients and don't get stuck eating the same salad every day. Mix up the color, textures and flavors so that you don't get bored of your salad and your growing bub will thank you for it. Now the next thing we need to consider is salad meats. Now all good salads should contain a good source of protein. But unfortunately, deli meats, eggs and cheese, which are common in salads, may have listeria or salmonella risk. So your options are to A, Opt for a warm salad where you reheat or cook some fresh chicken or salmon and then throw that into the rest of your salad at the end. Or B, throw in something like a can of legumes, canned fish or a handful of nuts if you're on the run. Next, we need a great salad dressing. Dressings can obviously add a boost of flavor and difference to your salad. So don't shy away from being creative with your salad dressings but preferably choose a vinaigrette or an oil-based dressing. And if you want some more oomph, then try mixing in different herbs, spices, or flavorings. What you do need to be careful of is salads that contain undercooked eggs, um, such as hollandaise or bernays, or salad dressings that contain cheese and other dairy products. Now, the dairy products um, they're obviously fine if they are pasteurized, but you're just going to have to check the label um, to double check that they have been pasteurized. So let's just wrap up with a word of caution. 
Although hopefully I've made it clear to you that salad is good for you and you don't need to pregnant pass the salad, you do obviously need to be careful with how it's prepared. So take the time to make it yourself. That way you're going to know that it's safe. Wash all of the ingredients thoroughly. Even if the product says that it's been pre-washed, wash it again to remove any residual bacteria. And refrigerate it as soon as you finish preparing the salad. And then make sure that you eat it within a couple of hours. Really, this is one of the biggest risks of listeria when you go to places like a food court or some cafes, is that they have it sitting out um, in the open, not being refrigerated, for potentially hours and hours on end. And that gives Listeria a chance to grow. As long as it's being kept refrigerated, you're fine. Also, you've got to be careful of salad bars and buffets where you really just don't know how well the salad has been prepared. And you can't guarantee that there'll be no cross-contamination with uh, things like raw meats. So just be on the safe side when it does come to eating out. But if you're making salad yourself, that's going to ensure that you know exactly what goes in it and you can be confident that you're eating a healthy, tasty and pregnancy safe salad. Now, I'd love to hear your favorite pregnancy salad recipe in the comments box below. Or better still, post a pic of it on your social media and tag me at Melanie McGrice. And if you haven't yet downloaded my free pregnancy meal plan, you can do so at www.melaniemcgrice.com slash pregnancy. You'll find loads of yummy recipes included. I'd also really appreciate it if you could share this video with your pregnant friends to help avoid this misconception that all salads need to be avoided during pregnancy. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Not quiet enough. <sighs>